Hey y'all, what's going on? Oh Lord, I hope I ain't too loud over here. Listen. So y'all, I've been having issues to stand camera and YouTube. Like if I, we're not gonna talk about it, just fuck it. We're not gonna talk about it. We're not gonna get into it. Anywho, anyhow. So this is kind of random shit, and I did a video trying to show y'all Miss Honey Cabbage here. Now she looking awry right now because, you know, it's just the end of, you know, the day. And and yes, y'all, she can be worn on either side for my wig wearing ladies who, you know, like to wear their little units and things of this nature. She can be kind of worn on either side. And y'all seen me just do that. So if I'm looking a wild fool in this wig right now. Y'all know why. Because I just did that. Let me pull her down. And yes, yeah, so that's what we do over here. We shift our wigs and things if need be. You know, so. Anywho, and she is. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> She is, this is um, Jayla, it's M363 Jayla by Bobby Boss. The color that I have her in is SF1B slash Red Burgundy. That is her, y'all. So, I don't remember where I got her from, y'all. Just put her into a Google search or whatever. And and you may have them at, she may be at your beauty supply store, but I was really shocked. She's one of them turn it. So you're supposed to be able to turn it a different way. And then she kind of will, you know, adjust. Huh? Is my cup in there? I don't know. Okay. Anywho, so you're supposed to be able to turn her like I'm supposed to be able to put this in the back or flip or whatever, honey. She will never hit the back. I like the weight in the front on this one, but I still got some clipping to do. I haven't adjusted her, and I didn't want to do that until you all were able to see the video, but it wouldn't go up. So you're definitely going to have to cut her around the ears, and I'm going to take a clipper and run her back here in the back and, you know, get a little bit more taper or whatever, however. Anywho, okay, another thing, just also, listen, let me tell y'all something. Because this seems to be something that happens regularly with me. I can't stress this enough. I don't give a damn what I say. And I know that on this platform, you know, everybody, you know, anybody can look. And I'm very open to people's comments and gestures and things like this. But you know a motherfucker's coming wrong. Now, most of the people that email me, they email me with stuff that's going on with them or whatever or however, okay? Help a sister out or, or, or whatever. They want, they don't want a video. They want you to talk to them you know by way of email and sometimes I say you know if you got Skype or whatever so okay so I go and I get an email that says in regards to the mother-in-law drama you know and I'm thinking well maybe this is somebody writing saying they're going through some of the same shit okay no this apparently was some angry ass damn mother-in-law that felt like it was disgraceful the video and nobody ever wants to see the mother-in-law's side and they just want to take the other person's side and blah 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 this and that and other and and this trick went on to say if I was your mother-in-law I would be unhappy too I would like this is my story like first of all trick okay first thing my mother-in-law treats me really nice and I said that. And I treat her nice. Because she's not all in my business. And she's not trying to be her son's man. You know what I'm saying? Woman or whatever. She, You know what I'm saying? She's not trying to invade our space or whatever. If she offers something up, she's offering something that's positive to maybe, you know, maybe correct me or not correct me. But, like, if I ask her to help me with something or how do you make this or something that he like. Like, I'm not on the phone saying, oh, well, he did this. And, no, I'm going to handle my shit within her. 
You know what I'm saying? And secondly, before I call somebody else's mama, I'm going to call mine, but I'm not putting my own mother in all my business. That's the problem. You don't want to motherfucking let your son go or whatever the case may be. Like cut the motherfucking apron strings. Once he starts getting a little cuckoo, he's not just your little boy anymore. Okay, he's man enough to have a household, a home, a wife, and this, that, and other that he's the head of or whatever. Let him the hell go. Now, that's not to say that it's not some damn daughter-in-laws that are bitches from hell, because I'm sure there is. But clearly, I was talking to the situation in which, you know, I was emailed, and I spoke to that. I don't know why you felt some kind of way, and I surely hope you are not this particular mother-in-law. Because I still don't feel any different. You know, not that I think you are, but just in case, we'll clear that up. Um, you know, get me and you and this and that and other. Like, it's clearly something someone wrote me. So if you've seen the video, then you know that that was somebody else's circumstance and I was giving my opinion. Not that I was talking about my mother-in-law. And I clarified that. So what's your problem? Comprehending? Are you just a just a bitch that ain't got nothing else to do? You know, like I can't. You know, and everybody has their own opinion about shit. And yes, on this platform, we are, you know, those that make videos, you're putting yourself out there. But girl, like, stop it. If you was my mother-in-law, bitch, clearly if you was, I would check your motherfucking attitude at the door. Because, see, I'm married to your son. That's who I sleep with and who I lay down with. Now, see, I'm older. I know how to do the dance when it comes down to, you know, the mother-in-law and, and the husband in the middle. You know what I'm saying? I know what to do to get what I need done. Okay? Anywho, you know, as some more says, shoop, shoop, whatever it is. Okay? Let's clear that up. You know, because that, y'all, that kind of irritated me. Because I was trying to be, but I was speaking to the situation. And if you go back and look at the comments, and someone even addressed that and said, you can tell who the mother-in-laws are and who, you know, the people who are dealing with it. What I found was it was just amazing to me how many people that are, you know, going through this issue. You know, that, that just amazed me off the rip. You know, like, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Just because you married to somebody, listen, you, honey, please, I wish that, y'all, I'm not going to ever let another bitch stress me out. Like, another bitch with a cool, bitch, you, you bleed like I bleed, you doing, bitch, you are not going to motherfucking stress me out. Hence, I could never be motherfucking gay. Because a bitch could never bring motherfucking coochie to the door with me. Because, girl, I got my own. I'm not worried about that. I can't deal with your emotions and mine. I will not, honey, go that way with it. I'm not here for it. I don't do it. Mm-mm. Anywho. And that piece of her is just sticking. Anywho. Okay, some other... <sighs> Y'all, yeah, some other random shit. Just around here in my area, this shit has been going motherfucking berserk. Like, Kentucky has just lost their rabbit ass minds. Okay, let me just make that clear. So, it was a young lady, and God rest her sweet soul. She was engaged, had a fiancé. Apparently, I'm trying to think it was an uncle or whatever. First of all, let me tell you this. This motherfucker had already been locked up multiple times for violent sexual crimes. Let me make that abundantly clear. He strangled and raped this young lady. You know, well, actually, well, I want to say Kentucky, but it's over the bridge, so it's Indiana, whatever. Actually, Indiana, but it's close enough. It's like, go right across the bridge or whatever, however, wherever it was at. And it just fucked me up. And in the process of that, they just released the damn 911 call. And her fiancé, you can hear him asking for help and him not knowing at the time that this motherfucker he's asking for help is the motherfucker who killed her. Like, I can't. What the fuck is that? Bitch, you stay at the sky. Ooh, they always say that motherfucking crimes like that is about control and all of that. These motherfucking sick, raping, strangling bastards. I can't. Mm -mm. Ladies. Okay. Learn how to, but if you don't see it coming, you just don't see it coming. Learn how to protect yourself. 
I, I, I'm just saying, and not just ladies, men, whatever. Protect yourself. I'm not saying be violent and be, because I'm not trying to do that, y'all. But I do know that it comes a time that you might have to take care of yourself, and you might have to protect yourself. Okay? Learn how to do just that thing. I'm serious. I can't stress it enough. This world is getting motherfucking crazy and I don't give a fuck even when you try to move out and you try to live in a better neighborhood. There is no motherfucking neighborhood that is not scathed by this violent and this fucked up shit that's going on. Like I can't. This is why I get pissed off at the songs when I heard pop the molly and do this and take that and get this and even these videos on here where people are taking some shit that supposed to make you trip out for 15 or 20 like I can't Ugh. I just can't I'm not gonna be able to do it anywho y'all and just while I'm on here let me tell y'all so I found some new shit I wanted to try from a uh, uh, youtuber here that I watched myself she does beautiful eye looks and um, she did a video um, talking about and she talks about her hair a lot and she was talking about As I Am products, okay? Now, I've looked at the As I Am products, and these mothers is too damn high. Like, for real. Too damn high. So, she mentioned this site called Curl Mart, which a lot of you all may know about it. So, I went over there, and I bought me some As I Am products or whatever. Now, this is the co-wash, coconut uh, co-wash. Has tangerine and all of that. Y'all this y'all my hair was like, yes. My dad my hair was damn near like smack my ass and everything, honey. She was into it, baby. Trust me. This is the consistency. It smells like coconuts. It's really creamy. It's a co-wash. Now this big bottle was like eight dollars. Okay. That's good price. Good price. Good price. I bought two of them actually, and everything that came had this orange tape around it. You know, so it doesn't leak out in your box or whatever. Now, here's where the shit comes in with this as I am. I also bought the smoothing gel, which I think was like eleven ninety nine or something like that. But I think in Sally's it's like 17 The fuck? Like I came with these foods. And the prices and things, you know, because you put natural shit in some shit. Don't mean you got to raise it up. Nine times out of ten, you done set your ass in there and got in your motherfucking cabinet and got some essential oils and some cinnamon and powder and something. Now, her, so because women now are becoming natural, they just hiking up the price on shit. Yes, you want, you pay for what you want, but it's just ridiculous. It, it, it never would I give you $17 for this. And I felt some kind of way about this small ass eight ounce bottle for $11.99. But it do smooth your shit down. And for those who wear ponytails or whatever and like them little waves, you know, this gives you your life. It has natural products in it. Okay, it worked well. Here's the consistency of it. Uh, smells coconutty like that one. It smells good. Next is the Twist Defining Cream, which was $13.99 on Curl Mart and maybe $20 elsewhere. Sally's. This shit, I don't like the smell of it. I haven't used it yet. I don't like the smell of it, but I will show you the consistency. It looked like somebody didn't use it already for me. And then you got the nerve to chop. Ooh, girl. Um, lastly, I got the uh, Curling Jelly Coil and Curl Definer. And I think this was $13.99 as well. 18 ounces. Um, Let's see. Now, this is real loose booty, y'all. Look at that. It smells better than that other stuff. So, we'll see. Um, I did not try the shampoo pudding, but I wish I would have. In a way, I do. In a way, I don't because I do love my kinky Cara, the kinky. Y'all remember I did the 30 days of that. I love that. Her pH balance shampoo, it just can't be touched, you know, for me. It just can't be touched, and I absolutely love it. So that's why I didn't get it, you know. But the co-wash, I thought I would try and anything for the twist or whatever. When it comes to oil, I'm definitely going to go with her oil. I still have some. Um, and it's probably time for me to kind of, yeah, I don't think this wants to be on this side, y'all. Let's, let's go back to where we was at. Like, I can't. It was just trying it with me, honey. 
Y'all were just flipping her and current on. Y'all know how we do. Anywho, it's lower price at Curl Mart. If you Curl Mart, if you're interested in trying it, uh, www.curlmart.com. And check it out if you're interested and wanted to try these products but looked at it in salads and was like, honey, I don't want to have to sell no ass just to get no hair products. Um, they did give me two samples of Design Essentials natural products. Y'all can't see that because of that light. You know, in there. I got free shipping because, of course, I spent over the, uh, I don't know, $50 or 45 or some shit like that. I don't know. Um, but I wanted to share that, you know, with y'all and tell y'all. And now I can put the shit up. It did come packaged very well. Customer service was great. Shipping was fast. No complaints there. But, honey, as I am, need to kind of slow that roll. I will keep y'all posted on it and let y'all know how I like it. You know, it's just some things I'm not willing to change. Now, for a deep condition and hair crack... Y'all know I get that off of, well, I will be getting that off of imangirl.com, but the ones that I have, I still have a lot of them. The Emergencia, and in my little hair bucket here, <clears throat> um, y'all, I can't even pronounce that. This one right here, let me tell y'all something. As far as the treatment, it's, it, the, it, it smells okay, but... I did do this. Now, you can put this on your hair and get up underneath the dryer, but they also have a process with this where you can, like, wrap your sections in foil and hit it with the flat iron. Listen, at first I was like, what? I don't want that on my flat iron. You know, I just do it the other way. Listen, this shit here is crack. This hair crack, y'all. It's on the hair crack list. And you can get this at mongirl.com. Uh, her crack. I love my emergency, but this is her crack. And if you got a unit that you've ombre and bleached or whatever, and you want to bring her back, this will bring her back. Everything. Yeah, I keep my little, I got a hair product bucket that I keep over here on the side. Let me see what else, what else. This one right here is good as well. La Bomb. Now, this one is the one that kind of, I don't like to smell so much. It really smells like chemically. But if you done did your hair in and you done did a couple of leave outs, you know, where you left your hair out and flat iron, this will get you together. Again, you can get this on imangirl.com. But I will stick with those in my staples. Like, I'm just not going to go away from those. You know, once this is gone, I will have to go get me some as far as the treatment is concerned. For the shampoo, hand, like, <laughs> listen, y'all know I love her pH balance shampoo. And that pre-poo, in which I use as a treatment, is everything to me. Understand me. Everything. In, you know, in, with each other. Oh, Lord, my hair loves it. Anywho, what else was I going to share with y'all? Um. I need to announce the winners of the lipsticks. They got the, the winner of the lipsticks, so I will uh, get that up and get that done or whatever. I am going to talk about Shameless because it, it was a plum food, but it was kind of like a tear jerker and all of that. And can y'all hear them down there? Like, I can't. They down there having a little taste or whatever. Anywho, um, I am going to talk about Shameless. I need y'all help to... Because I feel like I'm missing something. What comes on on Tuesday? And, yeah, Tuesday and today. What would have been today? What comes on today? Does anything come on that we're watching today? Because it seems like those days I'm just completely out of the loop on anything to watch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, you know, what comes on on these days? Let me know. If you have a show that you want to suggest, be sure to, you know, by all means, suggest it to me. If it's a news story, if there's a um, news story, anything like that, if you have a help us out, any of that, send it to Much Love, you know, Much Love from KYGmail.com, and I will definitely get to it and talk about it. You know, if you have a help us sister or brother out, send it over there because we're back to doing those. Um, 
Also, y'all, if y'all have not been getting my videos, please go to your subscriptions. When you go to your subscriptions and it gives you the option to get emails, you know, sign up for the email so you can get it. You know, a lot of people haven't been getting my videos, so I, you know, I've asked some people to kind of help me and tell me what I should suggest. So do that. And also when you go to su your subscriptions, check the block box that says uploads. And, you know, instead of everything and the suggestions, you get what I'm saying? Uploads are those that you subscribe to because I haven't been able to get, like, the people I'm subscribed to. I have to get the Scorpions, Kevin's videos from Facebook because I'm not seeing them. Candy's videos and others that I'm watching, I'm not getting those in my feed. Like, ugh, whatever. So... You know, if you're not, definitely do that. If you don't know how to do it, I can do a video not on camera and, you know, share that with y'all. So, that's just about it. Let's see. I'll be back to talk about Shameless. The Walking Dead. Y'all gonna get this Walking Dead. I may have to come back and talk about The Walking Dead first because I haven't talked about it like I need to. So, I'm gonna do that first and then do Shameless. I might even put them together. You know, if y'all don't mind the longer videos, but I looked at my little, you know, audience retention thing and like y'all usually good for so many minutes of video and y'all up through, you know. So I don't want it to be too long where y'all like, like this one, like, girl, shut the hell up, you know. So, you know, I'll do that. Let me know down below in the comments if y'all want me to just do them together and just do, um, you know, the longer video, you know. Also, I wanted to ask y'all, you know, I'll try to see if I can get on a schedule and maybe do, you know, two videos a week or whatever. If that'll work better for a day, you know, y'all know that I'm going to be in and, you know, do a video or whatever. Let me know. Just any suggestions or whatever. So, I'm out of here. I think that's it. I'm about to have me some wine. Uh, what else? Y'all got a couple of wigs over here on deck to do, so... I'm trying to get these wigs done so I can put them up um, to share with y'all. The next one I can just kind of give y'all a heads up is the, um, what is her name? Flair. And the color that she is in is TH Fire slash Red. So, this is her. We're going to see what she, you know, she does. She is curling on safe. That model model, so... She's one of the next ones and um, a couple of others that I have here. I'm just kind of trying to do a couple of shorty do's, a couple of things for summer, you know, a spring coming up or whatever. So any suggestion, any wig, you know, y'all been kind of eyeballing would like for me to try to, you know, get now. Reasonable, you know, let me know and I will try it, you know, so. I'm out of here, y'all. Much love. And I'm going to get that video up and try to get these other ones up. Y'all let me know if this sound is distorted. I will work with the mic and try to get it fixed or whatever. I want to start doing videos on my uh, Nikon. But that mother is swanky as hell. And it got a lot of buttons and extra shit that I don't know how to do. And most people that's on here, you know, they have the, the, the Canon. You know, the Canons, the TIs, uh, 3 and 4, um, or whatever. So, I don't know, you know, who to even ask about it. I guess I can look at other videos. Um, but I'm trying to learn it. So, you know, bear with me, y'all. So, I'm out of here. Bye.